Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a video response to Chip Edwards' comment on the first video I made on the channel, which was all about how to set up HASIO Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. In this video, I showed how to do this using the Ethernet connection on the Raspberry Pi. And Chip would like to know how that is how we can achieve uh, setting up Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi, but using the Wi-Fi. So, let's get started. Okay, in order to get the Wi-Fi up and running on the Raspberry Pi using Home Assistant, the process of flashing the SD card with the HASIO operating system is exactly the same. So I'll put a card up in the top corner to my first video. The quality of that video is not very good, but it was my first YouTube video. However, the information in there is relevant. So once you have your SD card set up and running, the next thing we need to do is get a hold of a USB flash drive. Once we have this in our computer, we can go ahead and, and format it. I've already done that here. We can open it up and make sure there's, there's nothing else in this folder. There shouldn't be after formatting it anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder inside here. And this new folder is going to be called Network. Okay, once we have our new folder, we're going to open up, uh, I'm going to use Notepad++ in this um, example. However, you can just use Notepad as well, which comes standard with every copy of Windows. Just going to go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to paste in this text here. Now, this will be in the video description, so go ahead and just copy and paste it out of there. So what we're going to do in here is we're first going to go to save as and we're going to go and find our we're going to go and find our USB uh, flash drive here and here's the network folders that we already made and we're going to save this as network hyphen connections. Okay, just like that, and we're going to leave it as a normal text file, and we're going to hit save. Now, before we move on from here, there's a few more things we have to do. So up here, where we have SSID, and then equals, we need to delete this my underscore SSID. And you need to enter the name of your Wi-Fi network, so exactly how it appears when you're connecting to the network. It's going to be my... Wi-Fi in this example. The next thing we need to do here is this line here. We need to delete my one secured key and you need to enter whatever your Wi-Fi password is. Can you tell I have a new keyboard? Okay, or whatever your, your Wi-Fi password uh, is. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click Save. We can then take the USB drive out of the computer. Take that along with our fresh install of HASIO on our SD card. Put them both into our Raspberry Pi and boot our Raspberry Pi for the first time. After a few minutes, you should be able to connect your Raspberry Pi in the same way as we did in my first video. However, you'll be able to do this over Wi-Fi rather than using a wired connection. If you're not able to get into the uh, Home Assistant installation after about you know five to ten minutes or so, I would suggest that this hasn't worked for you and you should come back and check your setup. Uh, and if you are having any problems, feel free to comment below. And uh, that's it for this video, a nice straightforward one. I do have some more HASIO videos upcoming very soon that are a bit more involved than this one. So thank you very much for watching. If you have felt and found this video helpful at all, please do subscribe. 